Hey YouTube, Sean Lawrence here. And today I'm going to do something with cooking again. It's not going to be uh, any type of meal, it's just going to be like a little soup type of deal. And it's really simple to make if you have the proper ingredients. You probably already have them at home. And all you're going to do is you're going to get out a little a pan is preferable, but you can do it in a small pot. I usually uh, do in that pan right there, but as you can see it's dirty with something. And I'm sure I can't see in here, but I'm going to use this pan. This is a uh, pot, excuse me. It's not, it's not that, uh, it's not that deep. It's not that really wide. You really don't need it that wide. And uh, right now I'm going to introduce you to a little friend of mine, Mr. iPod Stand, uh, iPod Stand, Camera Tripod. And uh, so uh, I'm going to plug this in to the camera and it's going to be awesome. We're not going to get any crappy angles when I'm on the stove. See, I'm going to do that right now. I guess that's good right there for now. So, I have this pan, fill it up with some water. Not that much, I'd say about a cup. About a, about a cup good for, good for what we're doing here. Alright, some of these waffles. Right here. Which is good. I don't know if you can see that. Angle it a little bit more. So, uh, pepper, salt, of course, you have the basics right there. Uh, I'll turn this on first. I have your water nice and warm. The biggest ingredient, though, I would say, is... Uh, I'm gonna try, is... Bouillon cube. All right, these things are basically the flux capacitor to this time traveling soup. All right, you, you gotta have it. All right, so and uh, I, I recommend uh, squishing it and breaking it up. This stuff is really old, so it's not gonna squish real easy. See if I can do it. Hurt my hand. Didn't even do anything. Anyways. You can just pop it in there like that too. It will settle with the heat and stuff. But, uh, I should have dropped it. I was going to cut it. But, uh, so, what you really should do, uh, is you can make it a vegetable type of deal. Turn on the lights here. You can make it a vegetable type of deal, but I like to use some meat. And, you know, putting vegetables in is a good idea. Because vegetables are good. That, that, that sort of thing, you know. Let me angle this a little bit better. There we go, much better. Get my face. So right here we have uh, sirloin steak right here. re angle the camera down on it. We have, uh, alright, so we have this steak here. Ding. And on the cutting board, get, get just like a steak knife. And, uh, I got a fork too, I guess. And, uh, it's preferable that this is like leftovers. It's not actually raw. Like it's pretty cooked. It's leftover. It's been in the refrigerator for a couple of days. And you know, this just makes it, um, I don't know, I guess it makes it a little bit more fun when you're uh, heating up old stuff. You could do it in cubes, you could do it in strips like that. I like doing it in cubes because it's more like, a, more soup like. Not like they're actually really cubes, but like little, just little teeny pieces. You shove like two in your mouth at once if you want. So we have that. And I'm, I really, right now I'm just waiting for the water to boil, which is why I have time to cut all this. There you go, all that. See if we can go for a nice strip down the middle here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Sort of. A little messy. Alright, so that's all that. Just gonna dump all that into the soup thing when we're done with it, once it reaches a boil. And so, back over here. Back over here. We are... Alright, so right now we have our bouillon cube is in there. We'll mix it around a little bit. It'll boil in eventually. Squish it if you want. Whatever. Bouillon cube is uh, pretty salty, so you don't need to add much salt. I always like to add a little bit. Pepper. A decent amount of that. And here's where the fun comes in. You have uh, good old garlic powder. Garlic powder is great. A couple, a 
couple shakes of that. Garlic powder. Onion powder. This onion powder is broken. Oh, look at that. Put it in there like that. Alright, and um, you have parsley, uh, oregano. What the hell's a parsley? Crushed red pepper. You could put that in there if you really wanted to. I'm sure that would taste fine. I'm not really a fan of the spicy stuff. Sure. That's oregano. Basil. Basil's basil. Ugh. That over there. It, these things just like make it not necessarily just taste better, but they just make it smell delicious. And because of that, it'll be deliciousness. It's basically how you want. Um, steak seasoning. Uh, good idea, bad idea. Let's try it out. Just a teeny bit. I don't know what it really does. Give you a look. Look, see here. Looks like brown. Kind of gross, disgusting, but you know what? It tastes delicious. And that's what matters, right? And it's gonna get to a boil again. I'm just gonna throw these chunks of meat right in. You should really put them in before it reaches a boil. I was too busy trying to find the, uh, the basil. I mean the uh, parsley. The parsley. Put the bouillon back. You can put anything like other seasoning in there. Um, I put the steak seasoning, the barbecue seasoning in there. Really anything you want that you would normally put on meat. And so right now I'm going to go over here see what we have for vegetables. Good. I'm just going to put a whole carrot in there. We have the carrots here. I'm gonna put a, take a carrot out and put a whole carrot in there. Ugh. Alrighty. This carrot looks delectable. Cut off the ass. And of course you want to slice them pretty thin because you know, I'm not going to have them in there very long. And this is not the knife to be cutting. There you go. Something like this. We just cleave action. But as I say, nice and uh, not not very thick. Actually, the smaller should start from the smaller end. Because the smaller ones are going to be better. And if you want to just dice those up even more, that's great. Do whatever the hell you want. Unorthodox cooking methods. Yeah, you yeah, know, whatever. It's not like it's not like you're feeding it to the president or something. No one's really going to care. Tastes good, it tastes good. It will taste good. I guarantee you it will. But, you know, like, if the carrots are kind of hard. Alright, so, this has not yet reached a boil. Alright, we're having another battery problem, which is typical. But, uh, this is basically it. Not really. Just boiling shit, you know. So. You're just going to wait for that to boil a little bit. Alright, so, it's ready. If you can see it right here, my battery's going to run in two seconds. But, uh, it looks good. And I'm going to add my ice cubes right now for the finishing touch. You can also do ham, uh, pork chops, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I've, had it, I've done this a dozen times. Tastes real good. Carrots are good, so, uh, yeah, you could put like broccoli in there too if you really wanted, but uh, Sayonara. Thanks for watching.